friends, it's Quenby, Grateful Queen here on YouTube, and I am back with another retail arbitrage video for you from the TJ Maxx Yellow Tag Clearance Sale. If you're new to the channel, hi, welcome, I'm Quenby. I'm a part-time reseller, which means I buy things to sell online on sites like eBay and Poshmark for profit. I usually go to yard sales, thrift stores, I do some mystery thread up unboxings and a little bit of retail arbitrage when there's a special clearance sale like the TJ Maxx yellow tag sale. I've been selling on eBay for eight years and Poshmark for two years and it's a really great side hustle. You can make some extra money. It's really fun and we have a great reseller community so please consider subscribing and joining our community here on the channel. You can also find me on Instagram at Grateful Queen B. I'd love to say hi over there. And there's a ton of great education and connection for resellers and thrift lovers and bargain shoppers over on Instagram. And you can find links to my Poshmark closet and eBay store down in the description section below the video. So let me tell you what you can expect from this video. I went to TJ Maxx. This was at the tail end of the yellow tag clearance sale. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of me inside the store shopping at some of the items that I chose to buy and some of the items that I passed on because they were too expensive and I didn't think I could make enough profit or maybe they didn't have the actual new with tags from the brand on the item. That was one of the reasons I passed on some things. So I'll take you into the store shopping, which I think is just sort of fun to see what is offered at TJ Maxx sale. And then I'm going to do a haul video and show you the things that I bought. I'll tell you what I paid for them. And I'm also going to include comps. So I looked up on eBay and Poshmark what items like these are currently selling for so I can get a sense of what I'm gonna ask for the items. I'll also include a stock photo if I was able to find one for each item. When I'm selling new with tags item, sometimes I like to use the stock photo as my first picture or one of the pictures in my eBay listing or Poshmark closet. Okay, but before I forget, let me tell you that this is part two. This is my second video from this season's TJ Maxx yellow tag sale. Why did I go back? Because in January, around January, it's different by location, TJ Maxx has their big blowout sale, which is a clearance on their clearance, otherwise known as the yellow tag sale. I went in January when it first started and I have a video up on the channel. It looks like this. Check out this video because that was round one. There was a lot more to choose from a lot more clearance items, but it was a little more expensive. I wanted to go back at the very end of the clearance sale because that's their lowest markdown. First item is a free people dress. I paid $10 for it. It was originally $108. I really love this dress. Um, it's a beautiful color. This is called the sky tunic dress. It has a balloon sleeve and it's got contrasting fabric. So it's sort of like a jersey knit here and then more like a lighter weight fabric here. It's got this tiered skirt. There were a few others listed on Poshmark and it looks like I can probably get about $50 for this on Poshmark. So I'll be turning that 10 into 50 and I'll show you a stock photo also of this particular dress. I'll probably use that stock photo um, in my Poshmark listing. This next item is by the brand um, Blank NYC. I know it's sold at Macy's, probably some other places like Nordstrom as well. I picked this up because it's a camel print skirt. Um, camel print does really well. Skirts are not my best selling category. They do sell, but they're not necessarily my best selling category. But I got this one because it's camo and camo is always really popular. It also has this frayed raw hem detail that I saw, thought people might really like. I paid $10 for it and I didn't see many others on Poshmark. So that's a really good sign. Um, Super getting about $30 with this skirt on Poshmark and eBay both. I tend to put my items up higher because I know I'll have to send out offers either 
best offer feature on eBay or offers to um, likers on Poshmark. So I'll probably put this up for 40 and shoot for getting $30 for this one. Okay, so this next item here is a pair of Free People jeans that originally retailed for $98, and I paid $16. Now, $16 is kind of high, especially for Free People jeans, because I sell a lot of the Free People dresses and certain tops. Jeans are not the best sellers for me um, in the Free People brand, but the reason I was willing to buy these is because of a few things. Of course, they're new with tags, but also they're a size 32, and 32 is the highest or largest size that Free People makes, so it's equivalent to kind of a size 12. So because it was a bigger size, and there aren't as many of those bigger sizes on Poshmark, I thought that the I would get a good return on my investment for these, also, they're really current style. So they, I would call them almost like a moto style, but they're called the jet skinny jeans. But because of the pockets here on the front, look at this great black wash with all that intentional fade and distress. Those are really great. The other thing about these is they're skinny, which is really popular right now. And then they've got these fantastic ankle zipper so a really long ankle zipper up the back. So I just think that's a really stylish detail. Um, there are a few of these on Poshmark. They're listed or anywhere from like 40 to 60. So I'm going to shoot for about 40 or 50 with these on Poshmark. Free People is my favorite brand. So you will see a lot of Free People items in my hauls. It also sells really well for me on Poshmark. So if I can pick it up at good prices, I usually do, especially new with tags. Why don't I take a minute here, you guys, to put in some footage from TJ Maxx. I'm going to show you some of the things I passed on because they were excellent brands, and I'd love you to know these brands and styles, but I passed on them because they were either too expensive or a lot of things in the clearance section are missing the tag from the name brand label. So I can sell it and leave the TJ Maxx tag on there and say, there's not a label from the actual brand, but the TJ Maxx tag is here and they are new, but it's much easier to sell something and, and command a higher price if I have the actual um, brand name tag on there. So that's one of the reasons I passed. So take a look, let me show you a little bit of what's at TJ Maxx clearance section right now. So I'm going to show you a few things that I didn't pick up because the price was a little too high, but I loved. Chaser is a brand to know about. It does well on Poshmark. These are both Chaser tops, but they were $20. But keep your eye out for that brand. And this brand I'll talk about later in the video, a Goldie. This was still $39, too high for resale, but a hot brand to know about. Great style. Look at all the yellow tags still left. Frame Denim is a really hot brand. These were too expensive to buy for resale at $25, but they do retail for like over $300. This is one of my favorite brands to sell. Adriano Goldschmied, these were 25, too high, but I can usually get between 30 and 40 on eBay. These Hudsons were just a really small size at 23. A fantastic brand to know about, Rag and Bone. I can usually get about 50 on Posh for those. Okay, so this next pair of pants is a new to me brand. So I said at the beginning of the video, I've been selling on eBay for eight years. That's kind of a long time and Poshmark for two. I watch a lot of reseller content on YouTube and I, I'm really active on Instagram. Come find me over there and say hi. I do that because I love to continually learn and that's one of the things I love about reselling is there's always new styles and always new brands and I like to stay on top of that because I'm just interested in fashion and also because it's really good for my reselling business. This is a new brand to me and I would say it's kind of a bolo brand. So the brand is AFT All Things Fabulous. 
all things fabulous. These are a size large and they are comfort pant, kind of like um, sweatpants, but they're a jogger. So they come down to an elastic ankle, which is a really popular style. And they have this tree graphic on them. And I really wish you guys could feel these pants. They are so soft. So I looked up this brand and they do a lot of high fashion comfort wear. So you see a lot of um, sweatsuits. They almost look like pajamas, but it's an exceptionally soft fabric. And the, the uh, so I wanna say pajamas, but they're more like comfort sweatsuits that are really trendy with great prints and graphics. And they go for $145. So this is just the bottom. I have 10, I paid $10. This is a pair that does not have the name brand um new with tag label on it so i'm just going to clip the tj maxx tag and i'm going to disclose that in the listing because i wanted to experiment with a new brand and i thought these were pretty unique and the comps on them on poshmark are really good um i'm looking down at my notes here so the comps are all over but there were plenty of these jogger type pants selling for 50 dollars. so okay so this next piece is a free people top it originally cost $78 and I paid $10. I sell these types of tops on Poshmark all the time. This is called the shimmy top. Um, I'll insert a stock photo here because, because Free People makes these really oversized tops. Sometimes they're hard to really get a sense of what they look like on without a photo but I really loved the rust color on this. So this top is called the Free People Shimmy Shake Top and the color is called Cowboy. How cool is that? So like with a lot of Free People, it's an oversized top. It has an open back with a knotted detail and look at these lace cuffs. I really love the color and the style of this. I paid 10 for this. Comps are kind of all over on Poshmark, but I think I can pretty reliably get $30 for a new tag. There were others listed in all different colors. I didn't see that many rust colored ones though, so I'll probably put it up for 40 and know I'll send out offers to likers and get about 30 for this one. Okay, so this is definitely a Bolo brand, a brand to know about. The brand on this is One Teaspoon. One Teaspoon is best known for their denim. They do a lot of collaborations with really cool companies like Free People, but this is a skirt. It's got this really high low hem, so it's a mini in the front and then longer on the sides, and it's metallic. The color is bronze, and the skirt is called the Rebel Muse me skirt i'll insert a stock photo here um this stuff is really expensive by this brand i only paid five dollars and i got two one in a size small and one in a size medium i'm gonna put these on poshmark i did not see many other listed what i see a lot of from one teaspoon on posh is their denim uh, but i think i can get about forty dollars for this and i have two and they were on the lowest markdown at five. There's a lot of sun happening here. Hmm. So this next item is a J. Crew blazer. It's the 365. I paid twenty dollars for it, so that's kind of high. But the comps on eBay and Poshmark were over sixty dollars for the ones that had sold that were new with tags. I'm actually probably going to put this blazer over on ebay because it looked like the sold comps were a little better over there and it's a size 10 so it's a great size really beautiful for career wear and it has the fantastic silky feel to it some people were using descriptive words on ebay like the french girl blazer which i thought was really cute j crew actually sells really well especially on poshmark i love a good sale so I wanna show you some of the things I passed on, mostly because they didn't have name brand tags or they were too expensive like this Zara blouse, but I love the tassels. I love a peasant blouse. This was Talbot's, but it had no Talbot's name brand tag on it. And this was Sundry, it was $10. I liked it, it's a good brand, but I just wasn't positive it was gonna sell. This is a free people ombre top, which I love, but it was $10 and I just didn't think I could make enough on a return on that one. This is a free people skirt and skirts just don't sell that well for me. This was a size large free people leather skirt. 
but it wasn't genuine leather. That's what I was trying to figure out. And I didn't have the original Free People tags. So I ended up leaving that Free People skirt behind. I think it was only $7, but these mini skirts are really in right now. These were faux leather Free People skinny high-waisted pants. Uh, but they weren't genuine leather, and again, they did not have the Free People tag on them. I wanted this dress for myself so much. I love the lace and the ruffle and the coral color, but it was $39.99, and I just couldn't do it. Maybe it'll go on clearance, and I'll go back and get it. This next piece I liked because it looked like a vintage 80s windbreaker to me, but it's a modern piece. It's free, people. But it was $20 or $25. I thought it was just too expensive. And I wanted to show you, I've never seen Show Me Your Moomoo, a really great brand, at a store like TJ Maxx. And this is the clearance shoe section. They had some cool things in there, but they weren't marked down enough for resale. I really liked these boots, but they were still $40, $45. And these sandals were really high quality, you could tell. Made in Italy. If they were less expensive, I would have picked those up. And these, wait till you'll see these guys. These are over the knee, genuine leather boots by one of my favorite brands, Fry. But they were still really expensive. In my Poshmark closet, I have a like new pair of black size seven and a half Fry Moto boots. If anyone's interested, they're really nice. And here I am getting ready to check out with my items. Yeah, hello. You right there. You gotta punch that subscribe button like this. Boom. Like, no, don't punch it like that. Punch it like this. Boom. Okay, and of course I saved my favorite item for last. This is definitely a denim brand that you wanna know about. And the brand is Oh gosh, I think it's, I say a goldie, but it might be a gold. Um, this is a brand out of Los Angeles, really hot right now. These jeans retail for $168. I paid $15 for them, and it looks like comps are like $75 plus on these. Not only are they an amazing brand, but they are uh, new with tags, and they're a really great style. These are the Roxanne super high rise skinny. So that's everything in 2020 that people are still looking for with denim, super high rise skinny. And these just have a fantastic wash and look at that rise. So the rise is measured from right here, the seam of the crotch all the way up to the waistband. So my guess is this is like a high rise of 12 or something. So that's really spectacular. I did find some stock photos. I'll try and put one in the video here, but I'll definitely use it in my listing. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments. How do you think I did with this small but mighty haul from the TJ Maxx yellow tag clearance sale? Have you done any retail arbitrage and what's your experience with it? I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe on the way out and look for me on Instagram at GratefulQueenB. Thanks guys, I appreciate you watching always.